let's move on towards the next question that is question number three and this question is asking us to name three groups of plants that bear archegonia and also we have asked to briefly describe the life cycle of one of them all right now we have to tell which of these which of the following groups of plants actually bears archegonia first of all what is archegonia archegonia are the female sex organ which is present on the plant body all right now archegonia is the female sex organ inside which the uh, female gametes or egg cells are being produced first of all this is the definition of archegonia now which of the following or which of the uh, groups of plants actually have archegonia in their plant body so in the plant kingdom we have algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms five divisions we have in the kingdom plantae among which we have only three phylums in which archegonias are found so let's see what which of these following so the three groups of plants that bears or contains archegonia are one bryophytes all right bryophytes are the group of plant which contain archegonias as their female sex organ along with this we have pteridophytes pteridophytes this group of plant also contains archegonia and the last one we have is gymnosperms gymnosperms gymnosperm being advanced plants but they are the plants or group of plants which contain archegonia as their female sex organ so all these three group of plants are the uh, groups that contain archegonia and what is archegonia it is a female sex organ which produces female gamete or egg cell now we are going to discuss the life cycle one of them then when uh, we are going to discuss the life cycle of a pteridophyte all right a fern so if we talking about the life cycle of fern or a pteridophyte we know that in case of pteridophytes the main plant body the dominant plant body or the dominant phase in the life cycle of a pteridophyte is actually sporophyte all right the plant body the main plant body or dominant phase in pteridophyte is sporophyte now these sporophyte have special modified leaves known as sporophylls on these sporophylls there is a presence of sporangias now these sporangias are present in the sporophyll on the sporophyll and these sporophylls are the part of sporophytes sporophytes are deployed in nature they are always deployed in nature as the sporophyte or sporophytic plant body of a pteridophyte is deployed in nature the sporophylls present on the sporophytic plant body are also be deployed in nature and the sporangias present on the sporophyll are also deployed in nature now what happens these sporangias are containing spore mother cells those spore mother cells are also deployed in nature then these spore mother cells undergo meiotic division or reductional division to form haploid spores these sporangias have deployed spore mother cells these deployed spore mother cells undergoes meiotic division or reductional division to form haploid spores these haploid spores give rise or germinate to form a new individual plant and that individual new plant which is arise from the germination of a spore is actually gametophyte 
This gametophyte in case of pteridophyte is known as prothallus and is haploid in nature. This haploid gametophyte or prothallus when develops or get matures, it develops two type of sex organs, two type of sex organs on its own body that is male sex organ and the female sex organ. The male sex organ is anthridia and the female sex organ is archegonia. The anthridia will make male gamete or anthrozoids and the archegonia being female reproductive organ will make or produce egg cell or female gamete. Now, with the help of water, anthrozoids or male gamete will reach to the archegonium and fertilize the egg present in the archegonium. After the fertilization, the zygote will develop inside the archegonium only. Now, after the development of zygote or formation of zygote, zygote will undergo mitotic divisions to form again a sporophytic plant body. So this is a life cycle of a fern or pteridophyte which we are going to make here on the screen. So let's make a life cycle here. So if we are talking about the fern's life cycle, we know that the sporophytic plant body, sporophytic plant body This is sporophyte, which is 2N. And we are talking about the fern. Alright. Now, this sporophytic plant body of a fern is containing sporophylls like this. These are the modified leaves, sporophylls. inside which the spores are present the spores are present all right in these spores we have special kind of spore mother cells let's suppose these are the spore mother cells spore mother cells which are diploid of course as they are present inside the sporangia and sporangia are present on the sporophylls which is a part of a sporophytic plant body. Now these spore mother cells will undergo meiotic division, meiotic division or reductional division to form haploid spores, haploid spores, haploid spores. Now, each of these spores, each of these spores will undergo germination and on germination, they will produce a haploid plant body which is known as gametophyte or prothallus in case of pteridophytes. Prothallus. These spores on germination give rise to a thalloid body which is a gametophyte, haploid plant body of a pteridophyte and it is known as prothallus. This prothallus will develop, this prothallus will develop anthridium and archegonium inside which the egg cell and male gametes are formed. Now with the help of water, with the help of water, with the help of water, these anthridium will uh, go to the archegonium and fertilize it. Fertilize it. And they form zygote. So this is zygote, which is diploid in nature. Now, after the formation of zygote, this zygote will undergo mitotic divisions to form again a new plant body which is sap, uh, sporophytic plant body and is deployed in nature. So it will undergo mitotic division to form sporophytic plant body. So this is a life cycle of a fern or a pteridophyte and we have three groups 
that is bryophyte, pteridophyte and angiosperms. These are the three group of plants which contain archegonium in them. And archegonium is a female reproductive structure or a female reproductive organ inside which the eggs or female gametes are going to be formed. So this is a complete solution of question number three.